increased global warming, the push for independence from fossil fuels, striving for CO2 neutral energy production. Wind turbines have an increasingly important role to play here. The construction of ever larger and more economical plants, an overarching megatrend. While just a few years ago, rotor blades with a length of 50 meters were considered large, today huge blades well over 120 meters are being produced. The manufacturing of rotor blades still demands a high degree of manual labor. In the past, irregular bonding led to unexpected failures for significantly smaller parts. Unplanned high costs were the result. So, is the production quality now consistent enough to ensure the reliability of large, mostly offshore wind farms? Heiko Rosemann from the Fraunhofer Institute for Wind Energy Systems in Bremerhaven, Northern Germany, has been researching this field for years. With the Blade Maker Research Project, the Institute, together with partners from industry and science, provides solutions for all the different steps in the highly automated blade production process. The declared goal, more consistent quality. The foundation for effective production is laid early during the planning and construction stages. This is where end-to-end -end digitization comes in, helping to save time and reduce costs for complex prototypes, and especially useful when developing completely new manufacturing processes. Based on integrated software solutions from Siemens, the plant was designed, simulated, and commissioned with the help of a digital twin. The plant was then equipped with control systems, drives, and motors from Siemens. When developing new processes, it is crucial that CAD, CAM, and control work well together. Because the NX and Sinumeric both come from Siemens, we could implement a very good system-wide machining concept. The demonstration center has an 18-meter-long working space on which two independent gantry systems are controlled by Sinumeric NCs. Each gantry robot is moved by 13 Semotix servo motors and Synamix drives. In addition to classic five-axis milling, a number of special functions are also integrated in the Sinumeric, which makes additional control superfluous. Whereas knotting compensation for the gantry is one of the more typical Sinumeric tasks, the special functions of the various end effectors means that the control has to be extremely flexible and open. For example, there are three different laying heads just for the placement of fiberglass matting in the mold. In order to ensure that all the formats necessary for manufacturing the blade are reliably covered. The two major highlights of Sinumeric here in this research facility are, on the one hand, that it is possible to control up to 31 axes, and on the other, the seamless integration of the automation technology, the PLC, and the control of auxiliary units directly from the NC code. With this laying head developed by the University of Bremen, the targeted control of the additional axes is extremely complex. Simulation on the PC beforehand allowed significant time and cost savings to be made in this rather unique application of a CNC control. Siemens was always there to help, both on-site and remotely. In the NX software environment from Siemens, the digital twin is still proving useful, even long after the plant was actually constructed. While tests are running on the real plant, subsequent process steps are being researched in parallel in the computerized simulation. Only when the machine program has successfully completed the new process virtually on VNCK basis, is the program loaded onto one of the two Sinumera controls and checked in the real world. This digital twin-based simulation saves a lot of time and expensive, unsuccessful experimentation. When applying the bonding agent, for example, automation saves us a lot of material compared with the manual process, where someone simply slaps on the adhesive with a spatula. This also considerably improves the quality of the rotor, of course. We can also save time and speed up the chemical bonding process. 
Compared to performing the work manually, around 20% can be saved on materials, with the added advantage that employees are protected from toxic fumes. The versatility of the research facility is again impressively demonstrated during root section milling, with the sinumeric being put to full use. Together with its partners, the Fraunhofer Institute for Wind Energy Systems has created the prerequisites for reliable and cost-effective processes in blade production, thus providing ideal conditions for manufacturers to meet the globally increased sustainability requirements of the energy industry. In the demo center of the Institute, individual processes can be tested and modularly assembled into an industrialized production process for rotor blades of any size with 100% constant quality. <laughs>